the USDA research out of Wisconsin wants to do a study on the differences between trailing shoe and injection versus top spreading. So they ask if we could put some units together for their existing research manure tank that they have. And so I got a skid of parts here. This is the shoe that trails along on the ground. This is a rubber boot. And then this is a little adapter that I made. They have a two and a half inch manure hose coming from the distributor. That will hook on here and then this adapts down to the two inch. Then we have a spring and this is a bracket that fastens onto their toolbar. So you set it down on the ground, put a little tension on it. You can see as it's trailing across the ground, the manure is coming out right at ground level. The, the shoe puts a little bit of an indentation into the soil and it puts the manure right under the vegetation. So right under your grass, leaves, or whatever small grains you have growing. Why would anyone want this? The idea is it lowers your ammonia losses, nitrogen losses, because you're getting it down right at ground level. The looking at it, I can tell you, you're gonna need separated manure that doesn't have a whole lot of solids in. It's not a real big hole. It's about a 3 8 inch wide and two and a half inches long, but it is rubber. Um, so you want separated manure. Compare this as a Hoover manure injector. This has a three inch hose. There is nothing inside here to restrict the flow and you can run a lot of debris through this compared to this guy. This is a 30 foot wide trailed injector. It is the first trailed injector we're building. Just about finished with it. We will have more videos of it once it's in the field. Here we have a 20 foot wide grassland injector. A local farmer bought it. It's here to get a swing pipe put on it for a drag line. This one particular one is set up just like a, as a tank injector. This is the same concept as a trailing shoe. Just this has rotating discs and then it has a rubber boot. And so you can see what a what this very similar concept looks like. It's just it's a rotating disc and then a rubber boot following behind. And these, if I'm not mistaken, these would have looked like this when they're new. So you can see how they, they kind of wear back. So this is the same concept as this. This particular unit, a couple things that I see. One is they're running two inch hoses. They have on the outlet of the distributor, the hose slips across the barb fitting and that, that is good. Nothing can catch there. However, when we come up here, they have a barb fitting inside the hose. So your flow is going against the barb. If, you, if trash is gonna catch anywhere, it's gonna be right here. And it keeps going out to the end. And on the end, we got another barb fitting. There again is another spot that trash can catch on. So this particular unit will work best with separated manure manure that doesn't have solids in or any trash or debris in. When I design like with my injectors, we come out of the distributor, same concept, the hose is slid onto the bar blow, comes into the hose, and then I only go bigger. Like I will not do something like this. I'll either clamp onto the outside of the hose and just keep going straight through. Then when I get to my discharge boot, the boot is one size bigger than the hose. So the hose always fits inside. That way, if the trash can get through the distributor, the hoses don't plug. This also has individual row shut off. It is great concept. However, it does also high maintenance. Got a lot of maintenance items with this individual row shut off. Looking at it, I do not think they've been using it. The local guy that has it, he's not planning on using the individual shutoffs because it's too much meat. So the shutoff just consists of that this bar just squeezes it to shut it off. If you look at how the Europeans drag line, they shut their pump off. Every time they turn around at the end, they'll shut their pump off or, or bypass the high pressure pump and they close all of these. So they like sh shut their flow off when they're turning around at the end. However, they typically, they pump a lot slower than we do around here. So their flow rates aren't as high and it's easier for them to shut off and start up again. We build drag line equipment, injectors, hose reels, pumps. We even do things like trailing shoe injectors. If you're looking for components like this, we can help you out with that.